I think that's everything out of the blazer, yeah. Yep. Well, here we are, pre-trip. Gonna give this thing uh, quite a while to warm up here. As soon as the last 10's out of the way, I'll show you what's going on. Let's fire this thing up. It's not a cold start, but it will. Uh, I need the keys. Buddy, buddy. Oh, you motherfucker. Broke my magnet base. Well, I can't win for losing today. What do we do with the dodge keys? All right, let it run. I just shut the engine down. I uh, totally forgot. I towed up here with the S10 on the back and the trailer under the stock. Turn all that off. Uh, okay. Um, under all the stock programming, all the stock tuning, but I know this signif this uh, suburban's probably shh, the suburban's probably twice as heavy as the S10. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna put this into the tow mode. Let me show you here. We've got regular towing, or tow. What is tow performance? Let me see something. Oh, this. Yeah. Okay, that's right. I wanted to make sure I was correct. Tow performance is designed for half loads. For towing loads up to half that of the recommended vehicle manufacturer. I don't want that, I want full. We're going with the heavy towing, which is, they could just say regular towing. So this is designed for towing loads up to that recommended by vehicle manufacturer. So this is the, this is the big guns. Tell it yes. I'll probably fast forward through all this anyway, who the hell wants to watch? All right, let's fire it up, see if it starts. Oh, feel the power. I'm gonna give everything a little time to warm up here. That's gonna be uh, quite a trailer load. 7,500 pounds, 7,000 pounds something when everything's all said and done. wash the truck before we started this journey. <laughs> Got a pressure washing done. Oh, check out this box. That's for a future video. That's exciting. Pick that up on this trip too. Yep. Here we go. Let's see, 68 degrees, it's a summer day. You see we got the equipment out. Spent a little time cutting grass.
So we're going up a pretty steady grade. Holding tight at 70. Just under 2,000 RPM. 10 pounds of boost. Just gonna go up here a little bit because the grade's increasing. on the exhaust. Whew. Sorry, a little bouncy. 10 pounds of fuel pressure. So far she's a good runner. Good oil pressure. So here we'll wrap up the series of Operation Suburban Rescue. It is home safe. The front hubs work beautifully. These worn premium hubs are awesome. Awesome. The gentleman I have lined up to rebuild the axle is lined up to rebuild the axle. I just have to pull it out throw it in the back of the Dodge and take it over to him. He doesn't want the whole truck. He'll take just the rear end, which is perfect. I need to do some work on the, uh, getting the windshield replaced. Uh, it's probably easier to see from the inside, but the crack in the windshield as a result of the extremely frigid temperatures. I also noticed this here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a crack on this side laminated window. It got really friggin' cold. But, it's all good. It's all home. There ain't no drive shaft. There's a spot under there where the transmission's leaking out of the back. I did Ziploc bag and e-tape the tail shaft of that transmission. But, it didn't make a difference. It still peed out on my trailer. So you can see that's where the transmission burped. Just a little bit of tranny fluid. Fortunately, transmission fluid's really easy. I'll spray it down with a light degreaser, get the pressure washer out. I will clean this whole deck. I like this trailer uh, kept in good shape because it wasn't cheap, but it's highly effective. And that's that. So stay tuned for the repair videos. They will be coming up here shortly. Appreciate you all watching and sticking around for this series. That's it, man. Gotta go. Gotta run. See ya.